Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what we eat in a week video. So I'm just gonna be taking my camera around and showing you the different meals that I made for my family this week. And if you want any of the recipes that I'm making today, I will link those down in the description box below. Before we head into the kitchen, I want to talk about today's sponsor. I want to thank Stash for sponsoring this portion of the video. Stash is an app that simplifies investing and can make it easy and affordable to build wealth and achieve your goals. With Stash, you don't need a lot of money to start investing. They offer two simple plans starting at $3 per month, and that can help you invest and save. Stash is very easy to use and has an entire section dedicated to educate users on financial topics and how to start investing. Thankfully, you don't have to be an expert. With Stash, you can invest in pieces of stocks versus the full share. On Stash, you can set aside money for retirement with a traditional or Roth IRA. The best part about Stash is that you can do it all from the comfort of your phone. Stash has a special offer for my viewers. You'll receive a $25 bonus if you download Stash and deposit as little as $5. Click my link in the description or pinned YouTube comment to sign up for Stash today and join over 6 million people who know it's never too early to invest in yourself. Thanks again to Stash for sponsoring this portion of the video. All right, so now let's head into the kitchen and start cooking. All right, so for this first meal, I'm gonna be making a sausage kale soup. It's one of my kids' favorite soups. Um, basically, it's potatoes and onions, and then I brown some sausage, and I add in some frozen kale at the very end, and then we put sauerkraut in it too at the very end, like when I'm serving it. So some of them call it sauerkraut soup, some of them call it kale soup, some call it sausage soup, but whatever you want to, well, I'm saying that's my kids call it, not that some people, that's just all the different ways that my kids call it, but it's definitely one of their favorite soups. So I'm just gonna start off by peeling some potatoes. I have some broth going in my Instapot. It is done, so I'm letting it cool slightly, then I will strain the bones off and put it into my soup pan here. And I'm just gonna get my potatoes peeled and diced up and also get my onions diced up so I can start getting those cooked in the broth to get them nice and soft. And then I will brown my sausage in another pan and add that in as well. All right, I forgot to mention that the other thing we like to add in is a little bit of cream into the soup. Just makes it so delicious. All right, so this next meal is kind of a weird one. Um, again, one for my husband's blog. He is making a pig tail like broth 
and then making a soup with it with some like pork in it. I think he's using pork chops and some other vegetables. So we got a whole hog and whenever they ask me if I want the head and the tail and all the organs and things, they always say yes to these even though um, where I live, they're a little bit not like cultural to eat. I know that eating these types of foods are very nourishing to our bodies. And so we always try to find some recipe to use with them. And this soup was very good. He also added in some beans. And then towards the end, he made some spinners and they're out of just some like flour and water, a little salt, and basically like a homemade dumpling and put those in the soup. I did not tell the kids that they were eating pigtail soup until after they ate it. Um, they all loved it. But once I told them they were a little bit weirded out by it, but they really was using the pigtail to get the broth and it made a really delicious broth for the soup. So the soup that my husband is making for the blog, um, we thought it was gonna be for lunch today, but because it's taking a little bit longer than he expected, I am going to be making a different lunch today. We didn't really have very many plans, but I do have some pork chops in the refrigerator, so I'm just gonna do some pork chops on the cast iron skillet. And then I have some vegetables and some beans and just other things, probably some ripe avocados, some sauerkraut. I'm just gonna kind of make do with the lunch today so that we have something to eat now since it's almost lunchtime. And then we will have that soup for dinner, which will be good because it is a really warm fall day today. And so we're gonna be taking the kids on a bike ride this afternoon and this evening. And so that way we will have dinner ready whenever we get home. This is just some butter I'm going to melt in here and that's what I'm going to use to fry my pork chops in. I'm also gonna make some french fries to go with this because potatoes are always a good filler. They're fast to make and we'll fill everybody up because we need something kind of quick and filling before we go on our bike ride. So we are gonna do the pork chops, some potatoes. I'm also going to steam up some green beans. And then I also found three ripe avocados in the refrigerator, so I'm gonna serve it with that. And then of course sauerkraut because that goes pretty much with every meal in our house. So I always get a lot of questions about my fry daddy here. I will link it down in the description box below. But we love this thing. It is just really fast if you need to make 
french fries or hash browns or anything. We make sweet potato fries in it. We have my onion rings in it. We just really like it. Right now I'm frying these in lard. Like I mentioned before, we just got our whole hog, which is why we're making the um, tail soup. But we also got a big thing of lard from our hog. And so that's what I'm using to fry the fries and it makes the most delicious crispy french fries. Mm -hmm. So we are in the month of November, which means all the stores have a bunch of cranberries. So I like to make cranberry sauce as much as I can because we all love it. So for this next meal, I'm making some mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce, and also some pork tenderloin. So the first thing I'm doing is getting my potatoes washed and diced up and getting those boiling so I can make the mashed potatoes. While my potatoes are coming to a boil, I'm gonna get my pork tenderloin going. So I'm just seasoning it with some salt and pepper and Italian seasonings. And I'm getting my cast iron skillet preheated and I'm just going to sear it in some butter before baking it. Okay, so for the cranberry sauce, I'm going to do a bag of cranberries. I think this is about 12 ounces, a half a cup of honey, and a half a cup of orange juice. And then I will just put this on the stove and let it simmer until the cranberries start to kind of bust open. And then you can mash it either with a fork if you like, depending on how smooth you like it, you can either mash it with a fork or you can even blend it or you can even leave it just how it is. Kind of depends on preference. So for this meal, I'm just gonna be making some round steaks and a red sauce. And I'm also gonna be serving this over some noodles. So I'm just going to start off by tenderizing my round steak and then salt and peppering them. And then I'm just going to sear them in a little bit of avocado oil. So 
So while my round steaks are searing, I'm just going to chop up some parsley and some onions and mince some garlic for my sauce that I'm going to make. All right, so I got a pot of boiling water here that I'm just going to blanch these tomatoes and then I'm going to chop them up for my bread sauce. All right, so for the noodles, I'm just gonna add in a little bit of butter and some cheese, and then I'm just gonna serve the meat and red sauce over top of these. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some great meal inspiration. As always, I will have all of these meals linked down in the description box below for you.